Ah, tis, tis, tis. Oh. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hi. So you started to read this as Nichi, which is a good guess because this can be read as Nichi. In this case, though, it's actually Hibi. So can you read the sentence for me? Hibi o heta. Hi, hi. What does this mean? After the, the, the days after the exiles were past. Yes. It, it passed. It pass. Perfect. Here's a new word. Suitai. This is decline. Suitai. Suitai. Decline. You read this sentence for me? Oh, wow. What did I do here? Suitai. <laughs> My suits always look like cheese. Perfect. The appearance of the sweet eye was to pass. The mm, appearance of the town. This is decline. Decline. Hi. The appearance of the town that had declined. So, so. Many usutta was reflected in my eye, in the eye. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Suitai. Oh, it I'm take sorry, a second. No, no internet. Uro. Hi, Uro. Uro. This is wandering. What's fun, it has nagareru, that kanji, which is to flow. So it's flowing around with no specific destination. Uro. Can you read this for me? Ruro no hibi o heta. Hi. The wandering days has passed. Perfect. The days of watering have wandering have passed. Cool. Let's go read the line from the book. Sui hogo no oro no hibi o heta. Modotta kono me ni utsutta no wa suitai shi are hatteta machi no sukatta deshita. That's the first part. The days of wondering after the exile has passed. Hi. So this no would be the things. The, oh, yeah, I don't love that. Modonta ko no me. Me. Reflected that which reflected in my eyes. Hi, which eyes? With Modo Modo Toko Modota, the return of this. The return of these eyes. So it sounds a little odd in English, but he's basically he's not calling what I meant his home, which would be Kaita. So he says, like, for me, who has returned to Wiremeto, but he's not saying home because he was exiled, so it's not his home anymore. And what he saw with these eyes, the things reflected in these eyes when I returned to Wiremeto was what? Suitai. She. Um, Suitai was declined. So, so. Dege degenerate. So, so suitai shi are are hatteta machi no sugata deshita. The appearance of a town that has fallen into utter, utter ruin. Perfect. Uh, and the car. Um, do you know this guy? This kanji. Yomu. So so yomu to read. Can you read this word? <laughs> Okay. 
So bunken is like literature and tends to kind of refer to like some kind of reference book, bunken. So it's not normally totally used for like, oh, the novel I'm reading. It's a little bit odd to use it that way. Can you read the sentence? Bunken o yonda. I read the... Uh... Okay, translate it to I read the codex or the yeah <laughs> the old the, work the, the 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 fancy books kind of like probably like educational books are more likely some classics right. might work for that um so this next word can you read it for me Gensho Gensho means phenomenon Gensho uh, this really here was the word that referred to those literature, that classics, that more substantial <laughs> literature. It ended with um, Ken. You know what it started with? Boon Ken. So, so, so boon in ken. our cultural reference, we would call these the classics. These are the classics of our traditions. Kind of, yeah. It's, it's I mean. more than literature. It's It's established literature. Yeah. But it right. can, it's also like for like, like nonfiction. <laughs> Wait, it is nonfiction. The Boon Ken is a nonfiction. Yes, nonfiction, and I, 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 I think it can also be used with classics. So it's any kind of like book that could be used for educational purposes, basically, is like the idea. Some kind of book you'd use for reference. So it can be the classics, because classics are reference. But it's also used for like um, a nonfiction book on history or things like that. Um, specifically in the context that we're going to be seeing in it's like a factual book but it's not it's not like a dictionary it's so it's it's the chronicles the classics and the chronicles yeah. that which the academics refer to as their primary source hi hi for their um exactly yeah, the primary source as their primary your... source in research is their boonkin exactly Okay. Hi. Um. Bunken ni yoru to. Sore wa. Gain show to. No koto. Hi. So ni yoru to means based on. So based on this, this. And this is basically like a kind of a grammar thing. To no koto is a slightly. Fancy ways from toyu no koto, to, toyu koto, and it basically means they say. Like so, this is the um. The colloquial version of tono koto. So it's basically saying, according to this, they say that. So, according to what? According to the primary source, koto. this phenomenon. Yeah, this is a phenomenon. Is. Toyukoto. This is a to Toyukoto, right? Yes. So Toyukoto to you... is like a grammatical thing, right? Literally, it is this is that. I think it's like the literal to define this. And it's it's used a lot. You'll see koto at the end of sentences a lot to refer to something like toyu or yoru, something like that, the kind of act as like a closing statement kind of so that's like quotation toe right there and that's like closing statement so what's in the bunkin is sore wa gensho da basically so according to the literature this is a phenomenon so tono koto doesn't really add extra meaning to the sentence it's more of a grammatical rule for ni yoruto which is according to Literally, it's like they say this, or in this case, it says this. Does that kind of make sense? Yes, it does. Can you read this word for me? Kohai. Hi. So this is not your senpai kohai relationship. Totally different word. Same pronunciation, I think. Does this kanji right here look familiar? Araru. Hi, hi, are, 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 perfect. So kohai is like decay or it's like something already like 
being in ruin is kohai versus aridu is to be in ruin. So one's a verb, this is a noun. Kind of like the development of ruinness. It's kohai. So decay was what I decided was a good word. So this like this primary source literature started with boon. What did it end with? Ken. Hi. Uh K. Wait, Ken, you're right. So I don't know why I said K. Boon Boon Ken. <laughs> Correct. Perfect. Okay, what one second. Do, do, do. Can you read the sentence? Boon Ken ni yoruto. Kohai wa gain shoto. Lokoto. Hi. According to the primary primary source. The the um this phenomenon is decay. Let's look at this the particle. Is, this is uh this decay is the phenomenon. Exactly. This decay is a phenomenon. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Tokuyu. Tokuyu. Tokuyu is when you're talking about a specific characteristic of something. So it's like it's this particular for this thing. So what makes something special? Tokuyu. And Tokuyu takes ni. Can you read the sentence for me? Kohai wa machi ni Tokuyu da. Hi. This is the K is a characteristics of cities. Which sounds odd, but this this is a uh, something that cities have like is this decay. Cool high. Um, can you read this little phrase over here from a previous page? Wermeto no Mario Kuga Kugen. It's not Kugen. It's Kyugeki. Right. Kyugeki, correct. Kyu, Kyugeki ni gensho shiteru. Perfect. The magical, the magical power of Werumeto drastically decrease. Perfect. Drastically decreasing. decreasing. Perfect. So let's go read this line from the book. Bun ken ni yoru yoru to kohai wa mario ku ga gensho tsuru machi ni tokuyu no gensho to no koto. Hi. According to the primary source. Hi. The decay. Is the phenomenon my height that belongs to what? Is the phenomenon of the characteristic so, so. of the city that is losing its magical power? Perfect. Yep. According to the literature, decay is a particular pheno uh, is a phenomenon. It's a characteristic phenomenon of cities that are losing their magical powers. Perfect. And kanji check. What does this phrase mean? Can you read it for me? Many. Hieta. Mm. No, no, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Many utsuta hi, hi. reflected what does that mean? to my eyes. Perfect. Uh, how about this word? Hibi. Perfect. Days. The days. Oh. So, the so, plural. So, so. Plural of days. I'll put that guy up there. Sui. Sui hogo. Perfect. After Sui hogo. this exile. Perfect. Nice. Do you know this kanji? Oi. Hi, oi, which is a lot. Do you know this word? 
Sure, sure. Good guess. It's actually ear, ear. What do you think ear, ear means? House and houses. Houses. So, so. The houses, plural for houses, just like hebe was plural for days. What is the te form of oi? Oi de. Sadly, no. Oi de sounds like come, come here. Oi de. Kochi koi de. Talk to your dog. Your dog. Uh, te e? form of anything that ends with e. Kute. So so kute. O kute. O kute. Perfect. Do you know this kanji? Sumu. Perfect. Sumu. What does it mean? To reside in. So, so, so. What is the nai form of sumu? Sumanai. Perfect. To not reside in. So, oku doesn't have to be, um, when you see oku, not only can it be an adverb, it could actually be a noun, which is very confusing. So, rather than a oi, turn into okute and things like that. Oku can be a noun on its own, which means the majority or many of something. So most, oku. So it'd be like oku no or something like that. Um, so let's go read our last example sentence of the day. Oops. Nare mo sumanaku nata oku no iye iye. Hi. So we're describing so iye iye. The houses that is the majority of the house are no longer uh, occupied. Perfect. Yep, it's they're no bed. longer occupied in there. It's come to be that many of these houses uh, no longer have anyone living in them. Perfect, perfect. And that is where we will end for the day. Um, any questions 